Hi guys and welcome to how to make a box aquarium. During the summer holidays when my grandparents had me, there was no way we could ever get bored. Nan was always coming up with ideas to entertain us and keep us busy. And this is one of the ideas that she always got us to do. An aquarium from a box. Ordinarily it was a tissue box, but you can use any box you like. You can use a cat food box or even a shoe box. And we are going to show you how to make one. Hi Alyssa. Hi. This is going to help us make a box aquarium, aren't you? Yeah. So these are some of the things that we need. We have tissue paper, the pipe cleaners. What are these Alyssa? Elves. We've got some... Gems. Pompons. And... Pony shapes. Tissue paper. And stickers. And oh. some glitter. And hard, pen, pencils, googly eyes, googly eyes, and, and most importantly, we have got our boxes and scissors and scissors. So all arty, crafty things, anything you've got lying around the house, will be perfect for making one of these boxes. And we're going to show you how. The first thing we need to do is prepare our boxes. So we prepare the boxes by cutting the fronts off. As you can see and then we need to put the background in so you need to cut a piece of blue card to represent the water and then that goes in there but because the list is a little bit messy with glue we've got with these special glue dots so all you have to do with this though, is take each one of these off look i'll show you my mind so you take a couple of glue dots and you stick them on the back of your paper like that and your cards are in you're going to take a couple of these ones. That's it. An aquarium would be an aquarium without some fish. So what do we need to make, Alyssa? Fish. Fish. And what are we going to use for the fish? Cards. Tissue paper. Or these are really good, I think. Because look, we can have proper sparkly tropical fish. So, what we suggest is if you've got any foam shapes, you can use card or glitter glue if you've got them at home. Draw out the shape of the fish and then we will cut them out. So, that's what we're going to do next. So once you've done a selection of different fish, drawn out onto your shapes, as you can see, hold it close, you can see, it's time to start cutting them out. Alyssa and I have cut out a lot of really nice fish. So we've got Sparkly ones, we've got pink ones, and oh, we have orange ones, orange dolphin shaped ones, we've got Blue lots. Ones. So the next thing we need to do is we need to move all those fish to one side and then we need to put the floor into our aquarium. So usually if the floor of an aquarium you have sand or rocks, but we haven't got any sand about, so what we're going to do is we've cut some yellow paper to size. If you've got sandpaper at home, you can use sandpaper because it's given a nice sandy effect. So, Alyssa, there's your card for the bottom. Okay, so, right like before, you just want to put some sticky dots on that card first, yeah. and then we will stick them in. Often in the background of an aquarium, we have green plants. And what they called? Seaweed and weeds. And weeds, yeah. So we're going to make some seaweed and weeds. Fortunately, lockdown, we've not been able to get out because we've actually been shielding in this household. So we're having to make do with very minimal two pipe cleaners. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the pipe cleaners and some different green tissue papers. And to salvage what we have, we're going to cut these in half and then we're going to wrap some tissue paper around them so they look like seaweed. And here's our seaweeds and our weeds protect. So you can see you can make them differently. 
then the pipe cleaner up to make it nice and twisty like little wee, or you can fray them at the top so it looks like a kelpie bit of wee. What we're going to do next is we're going to put the weeds into the aquariums. So if you want to fix them into the back, you can fix them with sticky dots, you can fix them with sand tape, or if you're brave enough to get some glue out, you can attach them with glue. Our aquariums are all weeds in. What we're going to do is we're just going to cut a little bit of a fringe of weed from some tissue paper and then just fix it to the top there. Right, so for the fringe, if you cut a piece like so and then just cut lines in it that don't go all the way to the top, otherwise you'll slide your weed off. And when your fringe weed is done, it looks like this. And what the best part about this is, Alyssa, you can scrunch it all up. Because single is not meant to be straight. So you scratch it a lot. So we'll just let Lisa finish her and then we'll get the sticky dots ready to attach it back on. Now what I would suggest for this is to actually put the glue into the box or sticky dots into the box rather than onto the tissue paper, otherwise it's going to get a little bit messy. So I'd suggest this pop in a line about a centimetre from the back ready to attach your weed curtains. Right, so now we're moving on to jazzing the fish up. So we've got all the fish that we cut out. Let's make sure they're the right way up because we've got some sparkly fish as well. Make sure these are all the right way up. There you go. Right, so we have actually got some booby eyes. And we've got some gems. So basically you need to make your fish as jazzy and as sparkly as possible. So nice typical fish. Big fish, small fish, medium sized fish, bright fish, dark fish, jellyfish, green fish, blue fish, whatever takes your fancy. So when you finish jazzing up your fish, they should start to look more like this. They've got googly eyes on them and some gems. We've got some sparkling tropical special fish here that's almost in beaver scout colour. Nice purple fish. What have you got there? Is it a blue fish? Oh, that's a nice one. Look, it's a very rare spotted jewelry fish. Yep. So you can see there's lots of variations you can do. Um, as I say, you can make these out of card as well and you can colour them up accordingly with felted pens. So next we're going to attach these to some cotton. Right, so the next stage is now to fix out the fish for the roof. So if you get a piece of tape, you can adjust the length of the um, cotton afterwards. So you're just popping it in there on a string and there you can see you've got a fish floating in the aquarium. Hanging down from the roof. And then when your fish are attached, it should not look like this. And this. And this. So you've got your hanging fish in the aquarium now. Right, now one of the last things we need to do is jazz it up a bit inside. So if you've got some rocks lying around or some shells, which I've picked from our paper room, you just put them in the base to make it look more like an aquarium. So and then just start filling up. You can also, if you're filling up to it, you can make a little pirate's chest and just trust filling up the pirate's chest. Whatever takes your fancy. I'm just going to place these shells in just randomly, just to bring it to life a bit more. And there you go. A box aquarium. Let's have a look at yours, Alyssa. Not a bad effort. Good job, Alyssa. High five. Teamwork. Enjoy. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and upload your box aquariums. We would love to see what you're up to.
。バイバイ。